The European Union is a set of rules and institutions that essentially deal with economic issues. Notwithstanding the undeniable material side of European integration, the European Union has also a set of values which form its constitutional bedrock. Democracy, solidarity, and the free movement of persons. Quite unfortunately, all the most important values associated to European integration are today questioned to the point that it is legitimate to ask ourselves whether the European Union will remain as an ever closer union. Since the launching of the single currency, there has been an increasing claim about a democratic deficit in the European Union. The international economic and financial crisis and the national and supranational responses to it since the year 2008 have further weakened European democracy at both the national and supranational levels. The resulting demands for greater democracy have remained at the national level and, to a large extent, in direct confrontation with the existing powers of the supranational organization of Europe. Populist parties such as Le Front National in France and UK Independence Party in Britain on the right and Syriza in Greece and Podemos in Spain on the left have won increasing support by promising national recovery based on regaining national sovereignty by either a straightforward withdrawal from the European Union or a drastic change in the institutional relationship of their countries with the European Union. Meanwhile, regional separatist parties in Scotland and Catalonia have won greater credibility in their campaign for independence from the United Kingdom and Spain, whilst insisting that they will remain within the European Union. Indeed, the question of how best to secure democratic governance in a globalized world now occupies centre stage. Solidarity and collective responsibility are two sides of the same coin as they reinforce or weaken each other. Solidarity among the members of the European Union has always been proportional to the existing degree of mutual trust and confidence among its member states. Financial support will be easier to obtain and more generous if conceived as a temporary assistance for responsible governments at times of temporary difficulties. The recipient government is trusted with adapting the necessary measures to redress whatever problem is causing the difficulties. Any transfer of national resources, which is considered as feeding the conversion of the European Union into a transfer union, would most probably be questioned by the donors' populations. During the crisis in 2010-2014 in the Eurozone, the mental divide between the different national European societies has been reinforced by local politicians and mass media. Most of the bailout programs that have taken place within the Eurozone have required high doses of political persuasion. We have been able to see that the most difficult feature to be redressed in order to regain a country's market and social reputation is a deteriorated political elite. Greece has needed so far three bailouts in five years and the country's market and social solvency has not improved, rather the contrary. The free movement of persons 
is a fundamental right guaranteed by the European Union to its citizens. It entitles every European Union citizen, with some exceptions, to travel, work, study, and live in any European Union country without special formalities. Schengen cooperation enhances this freedom by enabling citizens to cross internal borders without being subject to border controls. The border-free Schengen area guarantees free movement to more than 400 million European Union citizens, as well as many non-European Union nationals from Iceland, Norway and Switzerland, tourists and other persons legally present on the European Union territory. Most unfortunately, the most recent crisis linked to both terrorist attacks on the European territory and uncontrolled immigration flows into the European Union borders have contributed to question the validity of the free movement of persons which had heretofore been taken as irreversible. The multiple terrorist attacks in France in 2015 and the recurrent immigration crisis since the wave of failed Arab revolutions have placed the principle of free movement within the Schengen area into question. The debate freedom versus security is no doubt threatening the fundamentals of European integration.